the comprehensive restructuring of national highway program to ensure that the national highway grid of desirable length and capacity is created using financiable model. After completing the phase one of Bharat Mala, in the second phase, states will be helped to develop state road networks. We need to develop our inland waterways to shift a significant portion of inland cargo, inland cargo movement from road and rail. This government envisions using the rivers for cargo transportation, which will also help to decongest roads and railways. As part of the Jalmarg Vikas project, for enhancing the navigational capacity of the Ganga, a more multimodal terminal at Varanasi has become functional in November 2018, and two more and two more such terminals at Sahib Ganj and Haldia, a navigational lock at Faraka, would be completed in 1920. Two, mo the movement of cargo volume on Ganga is estimated to increase by nearly four times in the next four years. This will make movement of freight passenger cheaper and reduce our import bill. It is estimated that railway infrastructure would need an investment of 50 lakh crores between 2018 to 2030. Given that the capital expenditure outlays of railways are around 1.5 to 1.6 lakh crores per annum, completing even all sanctioned projects would take decades. It is therefore proposed to use public-private partnership to unleash faster development and completion of tracks, rolling stock manufacturing, and also delivery of passenger freight services.